Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Don't it seem like it's, um, you know, that we don't, um, that we don't um, ever stop seeing each other. I feel like that. I feel like that's good. <laughs> I don't feel like that, but, you know. It feel like we don't stop seeing each other. I just feel like every time we see each other, then it feels like we haven't left. That's the difference. Yeah. Yes. 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 It's a lot going on in this this. Girl. world right now lots going on you know it's election year y'all i mean election year is really <gasps> ooh, it starts to it's mm, drain to, drain you drain you mm -hmm. it comes out yeah are y'all yes. gonna get a pair of them gold 399 dollar high top sneakers are you serious you seen I, them things i don't even know anything about it so oh my god he got some sneakers out that cost 300 what 399 dollars Ooh, that's he, playing for that's playing for to a to court fee. <laughs> he who must not be named okay. got a pair of sneakers out and trying to get to that four hundred and eighty three million. He goes, oh no, 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 no. no. It's going. It's a lot of people that's going to buy them because they just when y'all start seeing these gold shoes floating around here, you gonna know. <laughs> <who's over. laughs> and, and I know, I know we have a topic at hand, but I just want to throw this out there for you to think about. When you see these gold high top sneakers and you think about who buys sneakers, who is this really pushed towards? Young black people. Sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> going by. Mm -hmm. Young black people. Don't try to do it, black folks. Don't do exactly. it. Exactly. And then Don't somebody can get hurt over a pair, too. And you can get a pair for $20 on Poshmark. You only got to even go and pay no $400. And, 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 and take a marker and put it whatever put your initial on it how about that do that mm -hmm. i'm just okay. saying dog one thing try and get try and get their they fees paid off by by, by stupidity because that's what it is don't do it don't that four hundred dollars can go to to something else don't do it to <laughs> 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 me lord have mercy don't become then you know he used to sell steaks and stuff like that so i don't know how that part of the business is going yeah, but um, and it just like the school, the funk. <laughs> <laughs> so this leads me to our topic tonight. Fawny Willis. I ain't say the other name, y'all, because I got it right. Fawny. <laughs> Fawny is my hero, y'all. Y'all know that? She my hero. And I'm on this porch today to root for Fawny because Fawny is coming. Yes. She is coming to make sure all these wrongs get the proper attention and people who have done these crimes get to get their day of justice or whatever is going to happen to you that is what's supposed to be presented well we know that's not what's going on at all but i like her because i feel like this i ain't never seen nobody step up in the court and say what she said on the day i thought you get taken away for contempt of court <laughs> well she's trying to control her narrative yeah. And trying to get the right thing out. And I think that was, even though that was not it, they advised her not to do it. Mm -hmm. She still, she came out there and what I saw was determination because she came out there determined and she said, I need this, this file, this file, this file. Those three, can you bring it to me and put it down right here? <laughs> and they did. And she said, lies, 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 lies on this. But it was very disheartening as the lady, and she was she was giving the, the um the lady a lot of pushback, the um uh, opposing counsel a lot of pushback on um certain things. But when they got to the money aspect and how she had money, and and what did she do with her money, people have their own money. I was like, what are you trying to allude to? And I'm, I'm glad that she said that she made it through her blood, sweat, and tears through her working, like we all do. That's all I'm gonna say for right now. Just letting y'all. Go, but I, I I I I enjoyed her just being very determined and speaking up for herself. I agree. I agree. So how did this all start? Wish I knew. I mean, it started because at the end of the day, we have to be twice as good with with nothing in our backgrounds, no mistakes, 
for us we to have be careful. That's to right. Anything. That's mm-hmm. number one. That's how this all started. Number two, the audacity to bring these charges. She had the audacity to bring the charges that she brought forth. She was within every right to do it. Yes. And but she had the audacity. That's number two. And number three, um, somebody is just fighting with all that they have to to get what they want. And it doesn't matter in what way they do it. And if they have to tear you down and destroy you to be able to do that, they will do it. It is really not that hard, right? And so, um, but when you start picking at people's past and you have to tear them apart to try and get them to figure out what happened, it still has nothing to do with where you are today and how you got there, but that's what happened. I guess that's why I'm confused. Whoever this woman is is um, sleeping with, what they got to do if you're trying to take over the government? I'm I'm just confused. Yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, confused. Do you you you're 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 literally <clears throat> trying to make crimes and misdemeanors? That's what you're trying to do. When it, that that has no relevancy to why these people have been charged. Well, yeah. it's a Go ahead, um, um, Celeste. Now, I was just going to say the whole motive is, I know it sounds really elementary, but the whole motive is to get her out of her character, to disclose something, make some shame, and make her not credible so she won't win. That's the, I mean, that's it. They don't mm-hmm. care about who she's even with, but they want to get her, they want to catch something, get her out of her character, and they want to be able to say, Ta-ta. yes, that's why she can't do this trial. Or mm-hmm. so they can try and throw the charges out so that you know how in the legal terminology they use fruit from the forbidden tree, right? So they're trying to make the one piece poison so you can poison the entire tree. And the fact of the matter is it still won't change what you've done. The charges are the charges. So whether they remove her from the case and, or, or him from the case and they bring somebody else, the charges are still the charges. And so, you know, the only part about this that... Um, did make me a little uncomfortable, but I also saw it on both sides. In the world today that we live in, at least from, you know, on a corporate and government level, I understand that this is state, is a state and county government versus federal government or whatever. But I think in the world of DE&I and, um, you know, sexual harassment and things of that nature, I thought it was just slightly disingenuous to, to indicate that, you did not have to notify uh, a prior relationship or a relationship. I get the privacy portion because there is a difference between secrecy and privacy. But I just think that in that aspect, um, maybe if it had been known or some, it, or they had told it then, and they still went on with this, it would have been okay because then it would have been divulged. That's the, the only thing I can see um, from a legal perspective to come back, whether we agree with it or not. I I mean, that's the truth of the matter. We're supposed to do that. And so that's the only part about any of this. Mm-hmm. Of this I'm rocking with her all the way. I understand completely because what we think of what a relationship is and a hit it and quit it type situation is different than being in a full blown relationship, so on and so. I get it. Basically what was happening. Yeah, because she broke it down to semantics. And if that's how you want to break it down, then if we're going to go from a, a legal perspective, then here, let me explain to you how relationships work. And she didn't lie about it. Like, okay, yo, this is what, you know, and I really didn't need him for that. You know what I mean? That was one of them, you know, hitting and getting and get, keep it moving. I don't need nothing from you. Here's your, here's your loop back too, because guess what? I got my own money. You know what I mean? All I'm right. Pay you for your services for this. Okay. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> and, you know, that's about I- it. You know, yeah, I get that part. I totally, that that makes sense. And then also to the privacy aspect of it, right? Mm-hmm. Like, when, when do you disclose it, right? You disclose it if we're in a relationship, right? You know, you my boo thing and we living together and you got your toothbrush and your clothes hanging in my closet. But until we- It become, seemed like that, there was none of that, right? And, and that's, what she, oh. that's what she was making, I believe. And so, yeah, it's just crazy. No kind of money was used that was taken from the government and given to the 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 assistant district attorney. Nothing was 
It was nothing unlawful going on in that aspect. Maybe something unmoral going on on the aspect of maybe it's a wife involved or anything like that. But yeah. if we start to look at some moral clauses here, it has nothing to do with these charges, okay? We, we talk about people um, trying to change number figures and, 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 you know, or do away with it. that has nothing to do. Then, hey, we got enough on you to indict you. You've been indicted. It's a whole bunch of you been it's indicted. A, it's you, just a distraction. It's a distraction. So isn't it so oh, very much? It's, it's, the, it's the point of just throwing stuff on the wall and seeing if it sticks. But the thing it's about it is the things that you're charging, the things that you are asking her about, um, you do know that your client has done worse and not consensual. I think that's what we do my know that your client has stolen and all that. So it's like the goal, I'm going to do this to try to pinpoint something for her that she's worked for versus what your client has done. It's just like, it, it boggles the mind. It really does. You know what I've been seeing on social media and y'all can tell me if y'all seen me saying, people are rooting for funny, you know what I mean? Mm. But they're always adding a butt to it. But she should- Some people uh, are, some yeah, people she, are. She should, she should know and this kind of alludes to what you're saying, Celeste, and, and Chauncey and, she, and Keisha. She should have known better to not get into anything that was remotely been messy because you're a black woman and they're going to pick apart every single thing. You should have known better. I have a butt too. That's unfair. But, That's okay. I have, I, have I, have I have a butt too. I have a butt. I have a butt. And I know it sounds bad, but when I operate, I know I'm going to have to step it up to a couple of standards because. They're going to dig as much as they can. Mm -hmm. And the stronger she is, the more they're going to dig. And she should have known. I'm like, with that. You know, you know, like, you know what? I think they try to kind of compare her to the New York DA. Because she's squeaking clean. You know what I mean? And look, the, all the judgments coming down from New York can't do business in New York no more. Throwing the kids, everybody else is. I got okay, you by the throat. Right. Because one, isn't one a DA and the other one's the general attorney? So mm -hmm. we're still even talking about different levels here. But I think, like I said, my butt will be that the history and what you're talking about is prior to any of this happening. So then you, it's hard for any of us, whatever step we're going to make, we have to think, is this going to affect me in, in my career later on? Or should we think like that? Have no. we thought yeah. yeah, the average person. I know we have to think like that, but I don't really want to think like that because. But but the thing is, when you're living your life, you don't always think like that, and so then therefore, it's not like she knew this was coming down the pike. Who knew? Two thousand and nineteen. Who knew this was coming? That was before he before all this stuff fell through. Right. Exactly. I thought, she, I thought she seeked him out to hire him. I'm sorry. I thought she seeked him out and selected him and hired him. I don't um, think so. I think that they already, it was already a relationship there, like a business relationship, but they had this previous relationship too. And if you kind of look at her, she's kind of in the mindset of, I mean, this is how I view her. You know, we 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 smashed it back then, but they don't mean nothing to me now. You know what I mean? But like, she happened, that's over. You, you but see I think I mean? she she saw, she she did hire him to be on this particular case. She did. Well, okay, yeah. so she hired, she hired him. Yeah. She, hired she wanted him. her team, but I guess it had nothing to do with her relationship. I guess it, it had something to do with how, what he was going to bring to the team. And That's really, the and yeah. didn't, well, he what did he have, bring into the team? Like, he didn't have higher experience. So what did he really bring? Well, That's here's the thing, though. Remember, she, I do know this part. She said, he wasn't even my first choice. He was not her first choice. So it was kind of put upon her to help bring him in. Mm -hmm. You okay. understand what I'm saying? He wasn't her first choice to bring to the table to help. But what her. is the problem here then? I'm confused. What is the problem? If you're not the then, first choice, and you're not even the expertise, why y'all got your why are your panties in a ruffle okay. then? What's the problem? I mean, so then that is the point that she's trying to make. But the point that they're trying to make, again, is the fruit from the poisonous tree. It don't even matter. The fact that you, A, didn't disclose it, and B, that you had a relationship, and B, third, that you gave him the job. You ultimately gave him the the the, the role. So Okay, and then I go back to the client who have nepotism all up in the White House. 
We're hiring all his family members that mucked up everything. So uh, again, don't like, have all, and think about it. You got security clearances given to you like you going to the to to Lidl on something and getting a steak. So you it, it it's just who never sever ties on business as a person you're supposed to. So the gall of this is like okay now. Come I on. know, but it makes you feel so angry in a way because mm -hmm. you can say, how is one person not held to, you know, to the same standard? Same standard. Same you know what I mean? Standard. How would that even, how are we even having this conversation? Let's probably go back to our other episode. You know what I mean? We must, as people of color, we must be supportive. You know what I mean? We must stop looking at the little intricacies because hell, they're not looking at the little intricacies. And I hate to say this at but all. Guess what? If we take a playbook from the Republicans, guess what? It'll be a whole different ball game. But exactly. we don't do that. We don't do Sometimes that. Sometimes I wish we would. It's been <laughs> people been kicked out of Congress, and then the next person who came and did the same thing, they didn't leave Congress. They just kept doing what they wanted to do. And it's like, how because is, how the thing, It's not that they don't look at it. It's that they don't care. See, they bring to the table what is relevant, what they think is relevant, and try to make it an issue from there. And yeah. I think people being impeached now. And I think Ms. Willis has got the support of her people, which is how she got the position that she received. And and I want people to understand that there is a difference between what she's going through and what Trump has been going through because what they have with her were hearings. It was not a trial. Yeah, she's not a trial. People have to understand yeah. she's on trial for but what's happening. You, you could say that, Chauncey, but you know what the the bad thing about it is, people don't look at it as she's they getting don't. Aaron and he's getting a trial. You know what I mean? They just know that you're up there testifying and we're going to pick that shit apart and we're going to say it's your fault when Governor Kemp takes her off of there and then the whole um, case falls apart. You that's see exactly, that's, that's exactly, exactly what's happening right now, which is ridiculous yeah. nonsense. You know yeah, what I mean? It wasn't about that's her, right? Yeah, that judge is keeping it under control, though. That's for dog one, sure. Yeah, it was, it was never about any point. Her. You do know Governor Kim can take her out of that position. Can he? Yes, he can. I read this the other day, and I was like, well, why are we going through all this? If you want to go do that, just go do it so things can proceed on. You know what I mean? But it's just like almost tactics and, and, and shenanigans going on that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But I'm giving, you know, I, I'm not going to belabor this. I'm giving her hats off, you know what I mean? Because what she said to that um that 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 attorney, that attorney ain't ready for her. Cause she 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 knows that this is a bunch of BS going on. But um, I did don't you know. That wink? Did you see that wink she did? Kind <laughs> <laughs> of she wink like I got this boo. <laughs> don't worry about me. Look, don't worry about me. I got this. Then she was like that. Yo, no way. She was sitting back in that chair like this, and she came up. Yo, you look. I was like, you get it, girl. Kid, you get it. You I, look. She said, "I ain't worried, so don't y'all worry." I guess yeah. we should take that talk. But she also <laughs> said, "I will not emasculate a black man. I will not do it. Mm -hmm. I will not do it." And I'm like, "Wow, wow." Mm -hmm. Hats off to her. Hats yeah. off to her. Really, hats off to her. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, what was we supposed to cover? Something else. This this was gonna lead to something else. Chauncey. Yeah, something else you said earlier. I can't even think of it. I don't know, damn it. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Having our moments. <laughs> but something else. I, I'm, it's going to be sitting on my freaking mind. Something else you said that this led to. Oh, Man, it was really good. Too. You know, I, was, I was talking earlier just about having the audacity to bring the charges to begin with. Um, mm -hmm. So just having that audacity, being who she is, us having to be twice as good, three times as good, yes, to be half as much. <laughs> and, um, you know, just the fact that this is being done by this, like Keisha said, by the same person <laughs> that you're bring, you're bringing this to the table about and for. He's done this more and and more, 10 times more. And so it's just like, why are we- That part about it, like everybody is like almost immune to him doing something terrible. But it's the buy time. It's the buy time for them to still have that um, primary in that state. It's just all this, these are just tactics to buy him more. Mm -hmm. Exactly, absolutely. 
that's the sad part about all of this. All yep. right, y'all. Well, I think we hit all the points. Go, go, Fani. <laughs> go, Fani, because you know we we root exactly. for you, sister. We rooting for you. Yes, we are. Yes. We rooting for you. you. You know, you ain't get here just on the fluke. So, and nobody <laughs> and nobody can take that away. So, final thoughts. Who has final thoughts? I guess my final thought is, is that I know it, that's not fair, ladies. I know it's not fair, mm -hmm. but we do have to be careful when we're operating in those type of spaces with that type of, you know, level of power, whatever. We have to be fair that we let everything on the table so it don't come back to bite us. And even something like that, to me, you know me, I probably would have let them all know that the fact that we was banging make us powerful. Don't worry about our business. Please, we got it. Please. Don't worry about my poo-poo. Don't about let them. Yeah, don't let them go nowhere because that's what they're doing. It's all <laughs> a and, and if she's not on her A game, it's going to throw her off her A game. Mm -hmm. And it's not worth it. That's mm -hmm. my final thoughts. Don't be keeping no checklist on my poo poo. All right. Exactly. <laughs> 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 love that her daddy showed up for her. I just love that to death. I'm like, I know that's right. You know, like, you, my dad was still alive. He'll show up for me because he know I'm hella fired. He's hella fired too. We both hella fired. We're going to get a piece of that kind of stuff. <laughs> and explain to you why black folks be keeping money under the mattress like now we just gave away all our secrets like, exactly yo y'all had to put our lifelong secrets out i know our generational secrets <laughs> i was like that and y'all y'all didn't do it <laughs> but no keisha you got a final thought i would um uh, my final thought with this is that i hope that she stay the course mm -hmm. stay focused um continue to to um uh just stay driven and stay just stay laser focused on what what she's um needs to do attach your hand conviction. <clears throat> conviction all right lady great ladies great episode um joining me on the porch tonight is your girl celeste and it's your girl chauncey this is your girl keisha and it's your girl kimmy <laughs> See you next Wednesday when we drop a new episode. Have a wonderful week on purpose. Take care.